Right, so off we go again. Um, paper's dry and I've just painted this little tree in here at this side and then I've got uh, three other trees to do with you. So we're going to do this, these two trees first. Um, I've put a little bit of masking fluid onto some of the yellow for some of the daffodils. So there's little bits just here. Uh, and then hopefully what will happen is there'll be the yellow, um, when I take that off after I've painted some of the front, that you'll suddenly see this lighter yellow. So it's light against dark. Um, you know, you've got a lovely little bit of dark in there against the light. Um, but it's hopefully starting to come together is this is this little scene. I hope you're enjoying it. So first of all I'm going to paint uh, part of the tree. Again I'm going to use a bit of the masking flu masking tape. Um, you don't have to do this. It's just that I sometimes haven't got a straight enough um, movements from my brush to get this edge and I want and sometimes I just find that having the masking tape on can, can uh, give me a lovely edge to work to. So I'm just popping this down. I've torn it so I haven't got a straight, I haven't got that straight edge that I'm putting on. I've actually got a lovely bit of, you can see, uh, movement in the masking tape. But you didn't think that you'd be doing this much with masking tape. So I'm just going to put it on one side, not the other. So this is the lighter side. It just makes me a lot freer when I'm doing the brush strokes. Now I've gone and got flipping pink in the, the brush. Give it a wash. Sorry about this. So we had burnt sienna and now I've got a uh, permanent rose. So first of all I want to have a very, very pale um, wash for the, the palest section of the bark. So it's just the Windsor yellow and a bit of permanent rose. Again, keeping a similar, oh, a bit too much permanent rose. Keeping a similar theme with the colours. Right. So uh, just painting this on. This is the lightest side of the tree and then I'm going to make some real dark, juicy dark into the side and on uh, a silver birch you get this lovely, which I think is quite your, your uh, burnt sienna at the bottom of the, just down here, a really, really lovely dark of brown. Yeah. Just letting that go into around in there. Mix up a little bit of more blue into that mixture. Got to be careful of not getting these trees too dark. They are dark, but sometimes they're quite green as well. Put a little bit of yellow into that just to give it a little bit of something. I'm just taking the brush on the side. Can hear the birds. There they are. I shut the window before because the the uh, it was just the pigeon was cooing. There we are. So I'm just taking that across, leaving little edges, and then uh, touch more of the dark. Again, just using this Chinese brush. Do you know? And it was only what is it? Seven pounds sixty from Heaton Cooper in uh, Grasmere. It's a bargain. 
and see how much I've used it. So I'm going to take off the side. There you go. And you see, you've got quite a nice. Well, I've got a little bit of come through there, but I'll get. I'll sort that out. Give that a little damp. There we go. A few little branches. It's going to run a little bit of clean water down these, and this is just with a rigger, so they're not too hard. Got me other tree going in here. This is why I just scratch off with the palette knife. And you can even scratch off actually a little bit of paint if you want. You know, you can just do this and you can just get a bit of texture. A little bit there. And a few more branches. The easiest thing to paint sometimes branches. Not having them all come out at the same place either. So uh, whoops, no oh, gosh. That's clever Jane. We don't want a branch here, do we? But I bet that's gonna be a rock. How to get rid of a tree, a, a branch in the beach. I think that might be telling me that I need a little break. Because when you do get tired, that's when you, your concentration level goes. So put your brush down and just make yourself a nice cup of tea or coffee. See how this tree's hopefully just pulling together. I like painting trees. I used to be frightened of painting trees. I quite like painting trees now. It's looking a little bit thin, but I think it's all right. So let's do this other one, and then we're going to have a break. So I'm not going to put the masking tape on. I'm going to go straight in with a, a nice little light colour. And a water, so it's a watery mix to start with. So. Just painting this on a bit paler. I think my water needs changing. So nice and pale to start. some lovely darks in here. Actually I'm going to run, uh, yeah, run a few darks in first and then I'm going to put some 
bright yellow into it. So the dark in, so it's the ultramarine and the burnt sienna. Nice and dark in this bit here. Look how that bliss blends in. Quite nice, isn't it? more ultramarine burnt sienna. Soaking up a little bit of the dark. So just use the inside of the brush just to drag it across. I think I'm probably going to have to stop soon because it's getting a little bit light darker, isn't it? So I want to just pop in some lovely yellow just into just into here. Just a touch in there. Like a mossy. The mossy stuff. But you get loads of moss on trees. Just a little bit in there. Right, and then a few branches, and then I'm going to call it a day. Right. I'm just starting off with the, the brush to start with the, the thicker brush, then going to a smaller brush, so the smaller rigger. The branches, uh, they get narrower, start thick and then get narrower. They're much longer sometimes than we think. And you've got to be careful of not doing them all the same. That's why... Uh, Sometimes just do them with the the palette knife. what I wanted to do, a little bit of that. Right, a few other branches. Try not to make them the same. Um, easier said than done. Trees of attitude, walk it across. So I've got to be careful of them. I'm not all coming out at the same place. My arms. I 
thoughts on that for now, fitness. So uh, it's coming together. Are you enjoying this? Oh, I don't think I want anything there. And uh, just take off this little bit if it's still kind of. There's just that little bit of light at the end here. Can we make that out? Right, so it's we've got a couple of trees in, we've got Ullswater Lake, we've got the mountains. All that we've got to do tomorrow is the trees, one more tree, and the daffodils in the foreground. Okay, see you later.